My name is Chris, and I will be your host for the Basics of Chemistry course made by my good friend, the Matrix Logout. So let's begin. Our first lesson will be about the atom, the periodic table of elements, the atomic number, and the mass number. What is chemistry? This is a very popular question, and there is no absolute answer to it. Everything has something to do with chemistry. Biology, medicine, physics, technology, geology, everything. Even the desk you are sitting at while reading or watching this presentation right now. Chemistry is the science of matter, especially its properties, structure, composition, behavior, reactions, interactions, and the changes it undergoes. If you'd like to learn about this science, then this course is for you. It will cover the basics of chemistry and will be a great source of information once it's done. Currently, my friend the Matrix Logout is planning on making it a 10 to 15 lesson long course and it's a 100% free course that can be watched online on YouTube. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. The Atom Everything in our world is built out of atoms, from the smallest piece of paper to the biggest, most complicated electronic device. There are many types of atoms. There are even some artificial man-made atoms. Each atom is unique and has a different mass, size, and properties in comparison to other atoms. Elements are made out of atoms. After many years of research, scientists have found that there are 92 natural elements in the world. As I mentioned before, there are some synthetic elements, over 20 of them in fact. However, they are too unstable to occur naturally on Earth. The Periodic Table of Elements Originally created by Dmitri Mendeleev, the Periodic Table of Elements serves to display the 118 known chemical elements of which 92 are natural, and to organize them by selected properties of their atomic structures. The elements are presented by increasing atomic number. In the next page of this presentation, you can see the latest version of the periodic table of elements. The atomic number. As you have probably noticed, each element in the periodic table has a number above it. This number is the atomic number of the atom. The atomic number is the number of the protons found in the atom's nucleus. The atomic number is represented by the letter Z and is placed in the lower left side of the atomic symbol. Protons, a part of the atom, in a natural atom, the number of the protons is also the number of the electrons found in the atom. We will talk about protons and electrons in our next lesson. The mass number. The mass number, not to be confused with the atomic number, is the number of the neutrons, a part of the atom, and protons found in the atom. The number of the neutrons is represented by the letter N, and the atomic mass is represented by the letter A. As I said before, the number of the protons is represented by the letter Z. Thus, A, the mass number, equals N, the number of neutrons, plus Z, number of protons, atomic number. It is placed on the upper left side of the atomic symbol. The recommendation for this lesson is the outstanding three-episode TV series, Chemistry, A Volatile History. We'll be posting links in the description to where you can watch these videos. That's it for today's lesson. Have a nice day.
Hey everyone. Uh, the reason I was voicing the uh, the chemistry video instead of my friend the Matrix Logout who actually made the chemistry video was because so many of you were complaining about his poor English accent and he asked me to do it for him so I went ahead and did that and um, we also have a channel together so if you want to go and check that out we'll be trying to upload our gaming podcast uh, our first episode we'll, we'll try to be uploading it on let's say Friday and uh, we'll go ahead and put a link in the description there and you can also check out my channel my personal channel where I will be uploading video tutorials for various things that I'll be you know I'll be taking requests all that crap so yeah we hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day